breakfast pizza, but can it be done with a little slice of Taco Bell on the side? Uh, I be? believe it can be today, wow. my friends. I have grown up loving Taco Bell. As my palate has matured, my taste buds have said, not so much Taco Bell. However, I still love the staples. I like a chalupa. I like a Mexican pizza. And today I thought, I've never done it. What about a Taco Bell style breakfast Mexican pizza? So for those of you at home, if this is your first time viewing, welcome to the show. I'm CJ, this is Nate, that is Ethan. This is CJ's first cooking show. We love to cook and quote. Yeah, I like to take true. the average meal, make, make it, it more average. More average. <laughs> Taco Bell, there doesn't have to be hate. We can have a little love and participate. That rhymed. Unintentional. Well, oh, refried black beans. I approve this message. We, I'm glad that you do. We're gonna take a few liberties, if you will, with our beans. One of them being, I'm going to incorporate green chili hmm. into my black beans. So I've got my saucepan. It's gonna go here. We're gonna do this at the beginning because I want my Fried beans. <laughs> MTV. I want my. I want my. Bye, MTV. Ow! I'm gonna add an entire can okay. of green chili mm -hmm. because I was gonna do this during the process as well, but I thought let's bring these both of the. Why the heck not? Bring You're those right. worlds together. You're right. To thin this out, got a little beer. Drinking beers, beers, beers. We're gonna add to uh, thin out our beans, and honestly, just stay there. Let me do a little bit of salt, because it's gonna need a little bit of lovin'. And we're gonna give this a, a chance. Mick lovin'. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, Mick lovin'. What kind of a stupid name is that, Fogel? What, are you trying to be an Irish R&B singer? I'm gonna give this a chance to thin out. I'll be stirring this occasionally, but let's um, let it hang out. Let it hang out and do its thing. While that is cruising and heating up, we're gonna get to our Johnsonville sausage. Now, today. How long are them sausages? Two minutes. It was two minutes, five minutes ago. I go ahead and crank this up to medium. Now, sausage is a tricky one. Beef is a tricky one whenever you want to start. Well, especially sausage. Getting it going and chopping it up, it gets sticky, it sticks all together. What I like oh to do goodness. is I like to let it set down here just for just a moment to heat up, then flip it over. Then you can smash it out. Oh. And then you can start the chopping process. All right. Sausage needs a moment to cruise. Typically right now, this is a great moment to ring it and bring it, but I thought, why not take a moment to honor our new subscribers? Oh, I like this This segment. is like what I like to call ringing in the new crew. So, here we go. Uh, first off, this one is from Rita Ramos. Hey, Rita. She's from Southgate, California. New subscriber, new to the Blackstone. Welcome, Rita, love that you're Does here. Does she like blood sausage? Rita, mm. her name was Rita. Gross, great. <laughs> that was a good one though. Uh, Soul Taker, new Soul viewer, love the videos, man. Wish that you could be here with us, Soul Taker, but I like my soul, we'll just leave that there. Um, the next one, Fatner's Geek File. Oh. Um, great channel, brother, new to the show. I'm so glad that you are here. Also, I've got one more. This is another new viewer. I'm gonna mention you briefly, Shane Muller. Left a great comment, so I'm gonna do a two-part. Two first. Just honoring you as a new viewer, but it's also gonna be comment of the week. First oh, time. Oh wow, ever that's the dead. first time that's happened. So here we go, ring it and bring it. We'll be back in a couple minutes. I'm gonna stir my sausage, stir Actually, the beans. Two. We'll be back in. Let's go and stir, please. The sausage does not take long, especially if you're not doing a ton like I am right now. But it is done. We've got some nice brown on all the sides that I need. So here's what I'm gonna do. It's I'm gonna move it off to this side over here. I'm nice also- Nice brutal management. Thank you, sir. You're gonna go ahead and turn off this zone because my beans have warmed up. They've thinned out. I think, I think we're ready to move on to the tortillas. It's That'll important that you use corn tortillas. The corn. Look, you can make the choice to do flour, but it would be the wrong choice. Wrong, 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 wrong. In this occasion- In this occasion, I agree. Because I want crispy tortillas. So on my Blackstone, I'm gonna go down with some olive oil. A little more than you might normally do because it's almost like a shallow fry. We're gonna oh, throw down- crispy. You're gonna get them crispy? Extra crispy. Be sure to watch them. They will cruise quickly. 
monitor the toastiness. When it is done, let's go ahead and pull these off. So you've got paper towels, set them aside. Let's drain off that excess fat and grease and let's start getting ready for our eggs. Now, before we do get ready for our eggs, I put a little work in. I feel like we should give this one more moment to honor. bring said ringage and bringage carnia. and the carnia. Let's honor them too. Honor the carnia. It's fried egg time, my friend. Well, fried slash- Friday? Friday. It's Friday? It's Friday, Friday. Friday night. And the mood is right. So gonna have some Friday. fun, show you how it's done. Whoa, that just came to me. We're gonna do uh, two eggs that I'm gonna be scrambling, and then I've got one that we're gonna one do. One-handed professional egg slayer. Thank you, sir. Wow. Danke Shane. And this is hopefully gonna be our sexy Whoa. egg. We're gonna season with a bit of salt and a little bit of this coarse black pepper, which is fresh grind. You're welcome. So we're gonna get our egg over here and start really scrambling. It yeah, it was screaming hot. I'm gonna start scrambling here. This is gonna go inside of our breakfast Mexican pizza. Eggs two different ways. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Dude, this egg over here, it's gonna be probably done in the next, all right, there we go. Is Had it to... gonna be eggs? <laughs> While I've got those there, I'm gonna do one little bit of seasoning as well. I've got some Blackstone okay. Hatch chili and cheddar. Okay. And to um, be, be liberal there, and then we're gonna get oh, this one. Oh, you ha almost had three perfect. Dang it. Dang it. Sure enough. Dang it. Dang it. I think it's time to start building. I'm gonna slide this over here, right out of the way. Okay. And let's get cruising, man. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna bring now oh, you can stay over sorry, here. Sorry, sorry. Hey, we're gonna going? only build. We're gonna build one right now. Okay. I've got these beans and green chili. See how pliable. The refried black was oh. the way to go. It definitely was the way to go. That was nice. Gonna come down. I like that beer trick too. Thing it out, making sure you can get. Get it uh, thinned out. Yeah. And spreadable. Spreadable. All right. So our beans are done. Now I'm trying to think here. What do I got? What do I got going on? Here, 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 here. Come on! Okay, come on! Here, 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 here. Okay. Now the building process is fairly simple with this, my man. We've got some red enchilada sauce it's gotta be here, red, right? Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be because Taco we're kind Bell of said. we're we're breaking our our mold here. We're doing whatever we want. I just happen to really love red enchilada sauce. Right, now I've got some cheese. Queso. Queso, my man. Queso. Who? Now let's get our scrambled eggs. Just grab a little mound here. Oh, on the back. No, this is, well, the front, the bottom. The bottom. South. The, the middle. North. Four side. There it is. Poop deck. I don't know what we're yelling about! Okay, now we got some crispy sausage, which I am just a huge fan of that. Like, like I like my fried eggs. I like that crispy. Crunchy friend in a liquid broth. Crouton, crouton. Crunchy friends in a liquid broth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, now, I'm also going to Dang, do a is, little bit of seasoning. This is a project. It's not totally a project. Mm -hmm. Well, it's somewhat of a project. I'm gonna do a little on the middle. Little in the middle. Little in the middle. But you got much back. And we're gonna do a little bit wow. of red on the inside. Bro, we're, we're crossing into major territories here because it's never been done. We're basically Nair. on a, on a voyage of our own. into uncharted territories. Now, we're gonna get this guy. Let it hang out there for a bit. It can finish melting with the cheese. Um, okay. I, all right. Now, while this is melting, all things are melting. Where's the folder? <laughs> You're joking, right? I have no. I don't know. I'm trying to think what I want to do here. We have an issue. I think cilantro is going to be on top. Okay. I think. I think. Yeah. I'm gonna do. Just have this ready to go. Okay. But I think it's time to stack in. And we're about ready, dude. Stack attack. Stack attack. Okay. There's no way this looks anything remotely close. No. To Taco Bell. Nope, not at all. Darn it, my yolk, dude. I was hoping for that perfect yolk. There she is. I don't know, is. dude. This looks pretty awesome. It does look pretty rad. I think that what we could do is get... Oh, you're gonna ruin it. No, 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 no. Ethan, is this ruining it? No, it's it's improving it, actually. Yeah. Imp improving? Man, yeah. that was yeah. kind of mean. I don't think it needs imp improvement. That much? Taco Bell much. 
That looks thank you. money. We're gonna grab just... General fancy. Yeah. But I can only get so fancy. Got Wait. a little dirt on. We got a little boots. But I'm taking you uptown tonight. Right Whoa, there. Whoa, with the chef moves. What have you Taco done? Bell style breakfast Mexican pizza. <laughs> We're gonna love it. I... Yeah. It looks good. It looks really good. We'll see. I'd eat it. Mm -hmm. Could be the first ever Taco Bell style Mexican breakfast Mexican pizza. There's no way that's true. Uh, I don't I don't know that there is one. There might could be one. I think the best way to go about this is, dude, we got this egg here. Yeah, this is what they do at Taco Bell. They give you cutlery. <laughs> right? I gotta stand up for this guy. That oh, crunch. Oh yeah, buddy. Come on. Get out of here, garnish. Gurney. Dude, I'm embarrassed you even called it Taco Bell. This is stunning. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, all right. Look at you. You're Just go naughty. for it. Naughty, naughty. Taco all right. Bell sauce ruined it, right? Mm-mm. Dude, lick all your fingers, please. The way? No, no, you missed one. No, I'm pretty sure they're... Mmm, cheese. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been a little prettier. Might have been nice with some avocado on the top. I think kind of fanned out. I think you're you're being too critical of yourself. I'm probably being too critical. You did great. Thank you. You're welcome. Leave it in the comments below. Let me know how I did. Would you get down on this? Yes. It's a fun way to play on your breakfast. It's a great way to play on your breakfast. You get a little Taco Bell love <laughs> in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Speaking of comments, oh. if you write it, we reads it. That's right. So let's get into CJ's favorite comments of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. So normally we start from the top in no particular order, no particular order because order I just screenshot <laughs> your comments, you the viewers, and expose it to the world. But today, I mentioned earlier, is a new viewer comment. It's also going to be comments of the week comment. Okay. So this one comes in from Steve Muller. I'm going to scoot because it's a long one. Hello, CJ. My name is Shane, and I am 55 and live in Sacramento. My kids, Dylan, Kyle, and Madison, gave me a 28-inch Blackstone for Christmas 2022. I had no idea what it was, and they told me all about it. I went on to YouTube to see what I needed. I watched the True North Cafe, and I liked it. Then I found CJ and oh, Todd. Great. And I started watching CJ. I like you the best, and my wife thinks the same. We both love your Ring It and Bring It with the Batman song, and also... The Walk of Shame, and yes, the movie quotes, we love it all, and I did subscribe. I did try and copy, now this is interesting, I did try and copy your recipes like the bacon cheeseburger crunch wrap, and I failed, I failed, tortilla's not big enough. Then I tried the steak fajita taquitos, and I failed. Again, it opened up in the oil, toothpick not set right, but I will not give up. But I did make a smash burger, and everyone loved it. I love this Blackstone. Wow. And now I need a prep cart like you have. Keep up the great work. Ring it and bring it. Thank you, Shane. Wow. Boom. So Shane. here's the thing, Shane. Just wait Repetition. Watch my show. Repetition, my man. One after another. Dude, go back to my early episodes. My recipes turned into train wrecks. I would say earlier ones. You could probably go back six weeks ago and there'd be a mess up. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, Shane, I appreciate you. Welcome to the Griddle 100%. Nation. Give it up for the Christmas 2022. Way to go, fam. Shane, cheers, buddy. This next one comes in from Timothy Hall. Now, this is fun because it actually was on your episode, on okay. your show. Here we go. But we both get referenced. Timothy Hall says, this is an awesome video. I love the chemistry of both you and CJ. CJ is more bro science. You said since, but I think you meant science. CJ is more bro science, and you're more technical science. And it's an excellent balance. Keep doing what you're doing. Excellent. Excellent. All right, Timothy Hall. Thank cheers you. to you, my man. Here's to the chemistry, the bromance, the brotherhood. This next one comes in from Jimmy Doyle. Jimmy says, Jimmy Oh, Doyle, Doyle rules! <laughs> that was coming out of my mouth. Jimmy says, Good show. Were you editing this from your kid's computer? Just notice the background. This was my 2022 recap. Happy New Year's, everyone in Griddle Nation. Uh, if you don't know, my name is CJ, and this is CJ's first cooking show. That nope. was my office. He's just a giant baby. I am a giant kid, and yes, I have toys that are still in the box hanging on my wall that I bought in 1993 when I was 11 years old. Don't open the box. It's a collector's item. It's true. Don't play with it. It's true. I've gotten you a few of those things. Yes, you have. Thank you. Here we go. Friend. Let's ring it and bring it. O'Doyle rules! O'Doyle rules! O'Doyle rules! I got a feeling your whole family's going down. <laughs> O'Doyle rules! O'Doyle rules! 
This next one comes in from Jason Gales. Jason says, dude, that was epic. Seriously loved every minute of that recap. Blue Nate's out of the water. Well, why do you gotta go there? Why can't you just be complimentary? Jason, you, you are take, correct. Why you gotta take it to a place where Mine was nobody epic. Wants to go? To be honest with you, the I'll entire year you. of 2022 was a Everyone's little sublime. Was hey, speaking of sublime, CJ, did you know? <laughs> that the frontman for Sublime, Bradley. <laughs> He was actually one semester away from getting a degree, uh, a bachelor's degree in finance, but he ended up dropping out. So, playing the band? Well, yeah, me, yeah. So, Kinda you're just sublime, telling us, though. yeah, you're just telling us about bands and like their their school history, as if I really am worried about their GPA. I just need to know if they can rock. Well, I just I thought it was a cool fact, and I like I just wanted to like let you know. So he used to practice chemistry. If you were thinking and now you he practices Santeria. That. I was... I don't... Practice Santeria. It was but, a, but a guy I know... Oh, well, I ain't got no crystal ball. O'Doyle, oh, room! <laughs> Thanks a lot, O'Doyle. Oh, nice meeting you. Alright, this comes in from Richard Fagala. Again. I'm not sure if oh, this guy likes consistent. me or not. Richard I'm says, guessing no. Hey CJ, is your New Year's resolution to make the show worth watching in 2023? Asking for a friend. <laughs> you got, you got, giggle. You got a giggle out of you. Um, yes, that is my New Year's resolution. Because it is now, but just is it a goal for, you know, the future? Yeah. Wave the future. Thanks, Rich. Wave the future. 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 This next one and our last one is from Patrick McKenna. Patrick says, "Grinder is a Philly thing, CJ. Recognize." Grinder? Yeah, because we were talking about oh, the, the meatballs, meatball subs. But what an awesome show! Fogies Tell Nate Dog to shush up for Fogies one second. And Shut his mouth. Navy beans. Shut Navy your beans. mouth, Nate. Meatloaf CJ sandwich. is in the title of this show, not slap Nathan. Yo, slap, You're just slap coming yo, off stupid. Uh, Keep on. Yo, Keep uh, trucking. Uh, uh, you know. Yo, uh, Okay, good stuff. Okay. Patrick, thanks. Sloppy Joe, slop, sloppy Joe. And that's how we do it, my friends. We are wrapped up, done with this episode of CJ's First Cooking Show. I hope that you enjoyed this Taco Bell style breakfast Can Mexican we just leave the front, pizza. Leave the first part off, and it's fantastic. No, don't, just because don't a it. breakfast pizza. It was better. A it was better. Dude, better than. It's a Not better a than Taco Bell breakfast Mexican pizza. Be sure to go to blackstoneproducts.com for this recipe and lots of other stuff Blackstone related. Also, go to griddlenation.com where you can get cool swag and shirts like this. Also, if you didn't know, it's a party. It always is, isn't it? Dot TV. Isn't it? Go check it out. Uh, but I think that's it. We've that's done it. it. It's we time to it. make another. Uh, we've got enough stuff to make one more Mexican pizza, so we should probably do that. Let's that's good. Yeah, for sure. Uh, in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, this is CJ's first cooking show where we cook. And we quote. We do indeed, and we're also out of drinks. I'm not. Almost out of drinks. Oh, do you? Oh.